Hi, everyone. My name is E. David Crawford. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Grand Rounds in Urology. During the past couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to talk to a number of clinicians regarding the challenges of delivery, delivery of Pluvica lutetium for the management of men with advanced prostate cancer. We're all aware that this has been a major step forward on our, our treatment armamentarium and has offered a lot of the responses and hopes of patients. Uh, however, there were some distribution problems that uh, halted this for a while. Joining me is a former patient of mine who just contacted me uh, recently, uh, uh, Juan, and uh, he's there with Casey. Uh, Juan was uh, first seen by me in 2018 with uh, advanced metastatic prostate cancer. Um, he uh, has actually done very well with all the treatments that are out there. Uh, he's been through, you name it, uh, uh, basically chemotherapy uh, with docetaxel, which he tolerated reasonably well. He's been on androgen deprivation therapy. He's uh, received Zofigo, uh, which is, everybody knows, is radium-223. Um, and uh, also Provenge, Cipolucyl T, and um, other therapies, Zometa, and so forth, and done very well. So uh, now, uh, I mean, he's been active, camping, things like that, and uh, then off a lot of complaints. But uh, Ron, tell us about, so now you've um, hey, I had one of these PSMA scans that uh, uh, showed some progression in your liver. So just tell us about that. So I started the P P MSA scans this year, and this was my second one. And it did show some uh, areas of uh, uh, higher density in my liver. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, at a good spot to go ahead and uh, start in on the lutetium, but there seems to be none available. So for the meantime, I'm going to be starting on the... Uh, uh, with Gentana, Gym, Gentana uh, treatments and um, take them, see how it goes. And uh, hopefully that the uh, uh, lutetium is available to me uh, somewhere down the road while I can still uh, 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 still have the choice for it. Right. And um, uh, that's where I am right now. So we'll uh, be starting uh, uh, the chemo next week and uh, working towards hopefully, if it's not treating me well, going on to the uh, lutetium. So, so, so Ron, you've, you've tolerated all your therapies pretty well, uh, is what you said to me, correct? Yes, yes. You know, I, you know, so many, that's the exciting thing about advanced prostate cancer, we got a lot of new treatments and we're all excited about lutetium. But I mean, this has been a sort of roadblock, but it, you, you've at, been able to navigate around it. Um, mm -hmm. There are all other alternatives. And, and then some of the studies, Jeff Tana was one of the comparators uh, in some of the larger trials. So um, you're, you're asymptomatic, you're doing well. We wanna keep you that way. Uh, and uh, we will, as you know, go forward with that. Uh, hopefully have a good response, but we still, have the lutetium in the uh, in the background uh, later, Casey. You've been a that by a side and a supporter all way, all around here. You're the one that that sought me out just recently. Uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me about how, how you feel about all this. Well, um, for me, just like Lon said, I mean, it's been amazing. One, the number of treatments that have come on line in the past five, eight years for prostate cancer, even at such a late stage, and that his quality of life has been so good. I mean, he, uh, you know, you wouldn't really know Lon was ill. I mean, as far as what he does during the day, and he has fatigue, but like I said, we live in Vegas in the winter, and we travel back and forth, and we go to Mexico. I mean, you know, every year and life's been going fine. And it's been so good to have these uh, drugs that are working for at least a time and not have horrible side effects. 
Well, you know, that's so great to hear because, you know, I talked to a lot of patients and everybody said, well, well chemotherapy, uh, you told me you tolerate that quite well. Uh, you got Sophia, you know, a little tired, uh, things like that, Provenge and the Zometa, everything else, and, and now you're moving on. I, uh, I, Zytiga, I think, you know, he's, yeah. You yes. Got, you got that too. Mm -hmm. So you, you benefit from all the discoveries and they keep coming and we want to thank you. you got a, we got your dog is agreeing with us. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, Lon's doing great. Let's keep it going. I want to go outside now. Well, listen, thank both of you, really. I appreciate it. You know, what? we're going to follow up with you in a month or okay. two and have another conversation and see where you are. So thanks. Well, we'd appreciate it. Doctor, that. I have something that, yeah, the choices for the treatments are good, but good teams work we have really good teams working with us too and uh my hats off to uh all you people that are supporting us well, thank you that's very kind of yeah you. it's been today, great today is doctor's day by the way and that's oh nice it is well, yeah. happy doctor's, happy doctor's day, day. <laughs> dr a... crawford goodman Sorensen, pettit we run the gamut dr vogelzang a good man too all right, yeah. thank you guys very much. And we'll talk He's again missed. in a couple of months. He's missed in okay. the community for sure. Okay, right. well, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you.